Hey, Raven. Hey, guys. How you doing? Made any progress? <laughs> Hi, Raven. Actually, we might have figured out some things about Mongetsu and the Purple Covenant. Uh, hello? You listening? That conversation is... over. What? Arrow, what's going on? I said we're done! Let's go home. Hey, sorry, Raven. I'll... I'll come back later. Yeah, I'll be waiting. Okay, what happened? What's going on with you? Come on, Arrow. We can't help you if you don't explain. He's got them. What? Raven. He's got the Covenants. No! But when Zenon died, the other Covenants transferred to... Iron Mask. You're not saying... Exactly! Ravens! Raven's the man in the Iron Mask! What? <gasps> I see. Just calm down, Melody. Why didn't you say anything before, Arrow? We both know what would have happened if you did. I couldn't say it. I'm sure Raven knew that. It's because I've got the Purple Covenant. I saw what Raven's been hiding. Shut the hell up! <laughs> you can't do this. Wait, Melody! Where are you going? You have to ask. I'm going to kill him. At Komodori? You're gonna turn that orphanage into a war zone? <laughs> it's clear you can't handle it. So just shut up and watch how it's done. I have to go too. Fig. Can you hold on to the Covenant for me? What? Mongetsu transferred his, and Fig already figured out the method. It's theoretically possible, right? Yeah, it is. I can soul hack you to interfere with your spiritual connection. Disconnect your soul, and make your body, well, make the Covenant register you as dead. Basically, what it comes down to is, you're gonna have to die. But you'll bring me back to life. I trust you, too. 
Raven Stroll. This will probably be the toughest fight we've had. But we need to protect the Purple Covenant. Dr. Mangetsu entrusted it to me. Understood. Thanks, Fig. Go ahead, Ringo. All right, here goes. You're gonna have to secure the Covenant, Fig. Protection set to partial. Spell sequence, soul hack. Systems are go. Heading overseas next, right? Be careful out there. You've been pushing yourself pretty hard lately, so I've been kind of worried. Well, once this is done, yeah, it'd be nice to settle down for a while. So Raven's done, huh? I guess I'm not all that surprised. There's always something about that guy that couldn't be counted on. <clears throat> Raven! Same thing. I'll be back in the fight soon as I rest up. Just wait, Raven. I'm going to get stronger. I'll fight in your place. I swear it. Do it. I'll end this war with the Phantom Society, or die trying! And there you are. Where's the Purple Covenant? Still inside you. Ready to pass it over? Yeah. There. I just switched the state of your body from alive to dead. And once the Covenant recognizes you as dead, it'll leave your body. I don't feel dead. Meh. Alive and dead are just labels on your corporeal body. It won't make much difference down here. Anyway, I think the Covenant's past a fig now. You've got nothing to worry about. Perfect. That guy looked exhausted. Was that Raven? How he was a year ago? You saw him then. Just bits and pieces. A couple flashbacks. But you heard Raven went on a mission overseas, right? He's been carrying the weight of it ever since. I wanted to help him carry that weight, Ringo. I'd take his place if I could. This is the reason I chose to fight. 
I see. So... Why did this happen? Ravens always fought to make the world a better place. Maybe the despair finally got to him. Broke that part of him. If he's that far gone, this could be a self-destructive spiral. Trying to kill himself and take the rest of the world with him. Raven would never do that! Then let's go find out. That is, assuming you're ready to go back to the hell that is our reality. I'm not running away now. There's too much at stake. And I've got a job to do. <sighs> let's go. I'm back. Good to see you. Fig, did you get the Purple Covenant? <laughs> Let's go to Komodori, Ringo. As soon as possible. Maybe I should go too. I understand how you feel, Fig. But if they take you out while you're carrying the Covenant, then... <sighs> you can support us with Mimi. I... understand. I'm sorry to have forced this on you, Fig. Please, protect the Purple Covenant as best you can. Out of my way, Saizo. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you either, damn it! I'm not gonna let you do this! Melody! Do the rest of you even care about stopping the apocalypse? Our enemy can't go all out here either. We need every advantage we can get. We're even surrounded by potential hostages we can use against him. Don't, Melody. They've got nothing to do with this! Maybe they don't. The kids are innocent. But that's never meant a damn thing to the world. Why should it matter to me? these images? Is it a reaction to Melody's intense emotions? I lost my family. I lost the man I love. None of you, no one can hold this against me. If the world's going to take everything from me, then I can goddamn well take it back. You're wrong. Being hurt doesn't mean you deserve to hurt other people. You're perpetuating a cycle, making the world more painful to live in. 
The world can go fuck itself! It was going to end anyway! Who gives a shit if this great one burns it all down? Melody? Are you crying? Ichika... I... I could read a story to you next time. Would that make you feel better? This is an unjust world. A false world. Let's destroy it together. I'm sorry. I'm not strong enough after all. But you are. Man, this is what I get for having summoner friends. You make me look well adjusted. Raven. All right, everybody, back to bed now. What? Come on. I'll be okay, Ichika. Sorry. And thank you. Um. Thank you, Melody. <sighs> no running or hiding? Not even any traps? You don't feel threatened at all, do you? So? Where are we doing this? The West Shipping District. Got it. You know who I am. And you know what you have to do. Thank mm -hmm. you.